Apple just announced is WWDC 2023 that will take place from June 5th to June 9th. In today's video, I'm going to tell you what to expect. But before I get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so before we get into the details about what to expect and everything else, let's talk about the invitations meaning because I know you guys are curious to learn more about that. Number one, I feel like this is the most obvious one because the invitation could be just referring to, it could just be an abstract version of the Apple Park um, rainbow stage. And yes, I do believe that makes total sense because if you um, take a look at the photo of the Apple Park rainbow stage, you will see that there are six arches. So it could just be a different representation of that. Now, of course, we're not going to stop here, right? So the possibility number two is that the invitation is referring to lenses that may be present in the AR VR headset that could be released, actually announced at the event. And number three, still talking about the headset here, these could be reflections of the headset visor and this also makes sense, so it's a hard choice. But I wanna hear from you. What do you think the invitation means? It's always really fun to just try to guess what Apple's trying to say. It could be just an obvious thing, but it could also be the lenses or the reflections of the headset visor. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. But now let's talk about what to expect. I know that you're curious to learn more about that. So the WWDC is a conference that is focused in software. So Apple is expected to announce the new iOS, macOS, and so on. So Apple is likely going to announce the iOS 17, iPadOS 17, macOS 14, watchOS 10, and tvOS 17. And as I just said, these are going to be announced because the release happens at a later date. For the iOS 17, for example, it is probably going to be released alongside the new iPhones 15 in September. But we will be able to take a look at everything new. Apple is probably going to show all of the new features and how it's going to look. Same thing for iPadOS, watchOS, macOS, and tvOS. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I know you're curious to learn more about hardware and new products because it's always exciting, right? And I know I just mentioned that this conference is focused in software because it is, but there are three possible hardware announcements that may happen at WWDC. First one, of course, the rumored AR VR headset. Apple could announce it at WWDC and then release it at a later date towards the end of the year. This makes total sense because this conference is again focused in software and developers and we do need the developers to develop applications for the new headset. Also, we could possibly have the announcement for the new Reality OS or we're not still um, really certain how it's going to be called, but the new operating system for the headset. We could possibly learn more information about this at the WDC. Talking about Macs, Apple is likely developing the new Mac Pro, and I'm pretty sure you remember this, the Mac Pro is the only remaining Apple computer that is still powered by Intel, so we are waiting for this update for quite some time, and it is possible for Apple to release that at the event as well. And last but not least, Apple is possibly working on an updated version of the 13-inch MacBook Air powered by the M3 processor and a new 15-inch MacBook Air. So this is another possibility Apple could potentially announce or even release the new MacBook Air at the event. And just a little bit more information about the conference itself. Just like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the conference will take place from June 5th to June 9th, and the entire conference will be available online for all developers with a special in-person experience at Apple Park on June 5th. 
the keynote itself is probably going to be recorded but at this special in-person event developers and swift challenge students will have the opportunity to watch the keynote together if you are a developer and you're interested in attending the WWDC in person, you can submit your request using the link that I've listed down below in the description, and the chosen to attend will be notified by April 5th. And this is what to expect at WWDC 2023. I'm definitely looking forward to it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.